girlies welcome back to my channel i know i haven't posted a video in literally seven years but 2020 has been full of surprises i am so grateful to announce that i am officially a signed model here in new york city you guys know i've been hustling to get my name out there it took me one full year of consistency and discipline to attract what i want in life as tempted as i was to signing any contract an agency offered me i'm so glad that i discovered the true value of patience to end of the year here is a compilation of meaningful moments that made me who i am today Mwah. Drinking tea and meditating on my beliefs became a huge part of my daily routine. During quarantine and because I was home all day, I made it a habit to meditate and journal out my goals daily. Yes, there were times where I became lazy, but resting and recharging is a huge part of success. Hey girlies, welcome back to another productive week in my life. As you guys saw from the intro, I will be showing you guys a bit of a sneak peek of my life working in the fashion industry, dating in New York, cute dinners, and so on. So as you guys can see, I am currently getting ready. We are meeting at Central Park beforehand because we don't have reservations until 1 p.m. It is currently 12.30. And I should probably head out, but then again, I live like 15, 20 minutes from Central Park. So yeah. Hey guys, a bit of a sneak peek of my work life. Working in the fashion industry, I will be showing, I will be working on various projects from beauty, fitness, editorial, catalog, and so on. So, here's a sneak peek.
how to become a model when you're short. The first thing you want to do is be pretty. The second thing you want to do is be sassy. If you're not pretty and sassy, please click off this video. I started getting the hang of posing in front of a digital camera and since then everything began falling into place. It was a domino effect. My portfolio is constantly being updated. I'm constantly collaborating with new photographers and my friend group is finally models. Like it took me forever to find people who are interested in the things I'm interested in and... I am finally surrounded with people who have similar interests, people who see a vision similar to mine, people who are interested in the things I do, people who have a similar journey, people who are already signed, people who are newly signed, and also people who just like being in front of the camera in terms of like a YouTube journey. Now I have a gut feeling this is only the beginning of my modeling journey and only part one of my model series here on YouTube. Now as a short, petite, freelance model, I I've walked for multiple paid runways, multiple paid gigs relating to commercial modeling. Hello, future me here. So I just want to make it clear that I heard lots of no's before I heard one yes. This is only the beginning and this goes to show that you don't have to be the average model 5'9 in height or the models back in 1930s. This goes to show us that anybody with drive and dedication and passion and fire can become anything they want to be. I am literally lost in my own city. But I look cute though, so. But I'm literally asking around because I don't know where I'm at. And I'm literally utilizing um, Google Maps. We just ended up at two different locations, so... So which way should we head, like, to get to Soho? I don't even know, honestly. You don't know? <laughs> no. Okay, so I'm here so with... So I'm here Andy. with... Oh, what a pretty! Yes, the light is blessing you, girl. Wow, it looks different. We're walking to our location. The first look was, like, real dramatic. I did not feel comfortable walking around like that. <laughs> Oh yeah, me too. I'm working with the designer. Oh my gosh. That's yeah. Mm -hmm. So she made you like a whole little look or gave you a piece of her collection. Yep. That is so smart. That is so smart. Yep. I need to touch up my makeup. What setting spray do you use? Oh, it's by Pixie. It's just a regular old um beauty store. It's from Target, Pixie Beauty. I've tried so many setting sprays. It's the best one. The best. Every setting spray I use it just makes my face look a lot more oily. I had that same problem too. But Pixie, okay, for some reason, there's like. Better figure out how I'm gonna pose. I was rusty too. I had a shoot the other day and I was like, damn, like I was so rusty.
We decided to stop. <laughs> what is it called? Joe? Joe and the juice. Joe and the juice. <laughs> Make sure it's recording. Uh, wait, I feel so terrible but I did not know what to do with my hair I literally just put a little bit of gel and just like puff up my bun or whatever this is but I hope I made this casting I literally had just like seven seconds to walk literally just like it's a small room all you have is like five seconds to show your best self.
but uh, I feel a little better just a tinsy bit I feel a tiny bit better and yeah I'll be back with an update Good morning. I am on my way to a fitting and I'll see you guys when I get there.
Hey girlies, so it is a new day. I am currently at a studio here in New York and I am, I have a talent So I am at a uh, studio here in New York. I am so tired. I literally have bags underneath my eyes because I woke up at 8 a.m., probably 7 a.m. because I had a casting earlier today and I am exhausted. Literally, I've been all over the city, on the train, out the train, on the train, out the train. It was, to be honest, like. So I am at a studio here in New York because I have a talent development agent meeting. I don't know what's going on with my tripod right now but i have a meeting interview um audition and i am going to head up to the second floor and see what see what it's about <sighs> okay okay i am at the bathroom now the bathroom is extremely small so i don't know where to put you guys it's also raining outside so i know my no makeup makeup look is like not put together but i yeah it was also raining earlier today my literally my hair is like i had my hair out in the rain for a while because i'm literally not thinking this angle but i'm going to head out and tell you how it goes i'll be back for an update Hey guys, so I am finally home. I had literally the longest day today, but I am finally home. I had a casting really, really early in the morning. Then I had an agency, talent agency meeting. Then I literally just came back from a fitting. So I was literally all over New York from this area to that area to this area to that area, but I'm finally home. So hungry, I could literally faint in like two seconds. So to sum up how the casting went, I came in there with great energy. I like I was ready to just like execute. So I gave them two comp cards and okay, so I don't know what that clicking sound was, but I gave them two comp cards, one directly at the desk and directly at directly to the casting director and um she saw my walk my my walk was perfect my size is perfect my look is perfect but i'm just not tall enough so that's how it went and i guess the requirements were seven five seven and up and i am five four five five so i guess i stood out because i was really really short but uh, that's how it went i went shopping later to you know just relieve some stress because i was just like forget it forget it so after the casting i went shopping and then i had a talent agency meeting so i went downtown to the heart of new york and that meeting went horrible i don't know what happened but i just felt this vibe i felt very unprepared one i felt very out of place i just felt like this talent agency was like weird and scammy and it does not say boo boo the fool on my forehead so i just felt very like i just had to like get up and leave because i just was not comprehending what she was saying i just not i was just not comprehending her vision but anyway she did make a very 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 good point that i it's literally stuck with me because she made a very 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 good point that i need to start 
realizing and um, making an effort to work towards this specific goal and this industry is cray cray because there's a there's it's a, there's just a lot of learning that I need to do I'm very 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 new at everything basically I'm just I'm very very new in this industry I'm learning a lot of new things I actually did not plan on going to this casting and talent agency meeting because I just felt very like blah this morning. I felt tired, I was sleepy, I was honestly just gonna like not go. But I'm very very glad I have went to both of them because I learned a lot about myself and a lot about the industry. So now let me tell you guys about the fitting. The fitting honestly was like amazing i'm walking for three designers at this show and my outfit is so freaking bomb like i cannot wait to get back these professional photos professional videos i cannot wait i cannot wait to share it with you guys i can't wait to just share it with everyone around me because <laughs> anyways but i am walking for three designers last season new york fashion, new york fashion week i was walking for two designers in their show now i'm looking for three and my outfits are amazing so i am so hungry right now i bought myself some subways on the way home but that is all that is my my journey If you want to turn around. And I am on my way to a talent studio agency type meeting because I am at step one at the moment. And basically what this studio is, is it connects you and exposes you to multiple castings, agents, 
um, anything in the entertainment industry, such as projects. So I decided to take you guys along, but I'm not going to vlog the one-on-one -on -one confrontation for obvious reasons, but I definitely gonna take you guys along and show you the process or just whatever happens. It's currently snowing and I don't like being in the snow at all. I don't like being cold. I'm wearing a bodysuit, a long black bodysuit, and you could find everything I wear to castings, um, agents, interviews, and everything like that in the next video. I think I have it posted before this video, but I show you guys everything I wear to model castings, agent calls, open calls, etc. So without further ado, let's go! I'm in black bodysuit jeans and booties because it is snowing and I don't like the snow okay so I have arrived home and this meeting was it was interesting very 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 interesting I've learned a lot of things about myself and this is gonna get so personal but a part of me feels like I'm just not ready for that type of lifestyle a part of me feels like I just need more practice i need basically just more practice in general because before he offered me a contract we were getting to know each other and we were talking about how difficult it is to actually book something how people go above and beyond and literally donate an arm and a leg literally just to book something and because of my height i'm literally 5'4 it's going to be difficult for me to actually book a runway gig a runway project basically so one thing i noticed about myself is i like to challenge myself no contract no agent no nothing but you're gonna see me on a runway for sure runways are literally one of my favorite forms of marketing if you guys didn't know i am a marketing major okay back to the story so he offered me and referred me to many 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 links of sites i could use to basically get my foot in the door get my name out there and basically attend the castings that i deserve he seemed very genuine they didn't force anything down my throat he explained what their company is about what they stand for and their goal you guys don't mind my lashes because i had a long day i had a 9 a.m wax appointment then i had to go pick up some groceries because i'm an adult okay anyhow i am going to edit this video i'm going to utilize the resources he provided and i am going to work on a portfolio i am going to work on some headshots i actually have a studio photo shoot on friday today's wednesday so in two days i have a studio photo shoot and i am literally going to tell my photographer my vision show him some examples and we are going to execute and of course i am bringing you guys along i'm going to vlog the entire process as well
appreciate it. starting this vlog I think I am currently at the bathroom I am currently at a casting here in New York City you guys saw me came back from my day job and I took the train strolled around NYC for a bit I really hope I'm not getting copyrighted and I really hope this music is not too loud but I am currently at a casting it is a petite casting thank goodness because yeah but I am currently at casting and I was told to try on a couple jeans and a couple tops for this new designer and yeah. So I give them all my information and my contact information and yeah, I am currently starving right now. I'm thinking of getting something to eat, I don't know, but I might head home and cook something there. I'll bring you guys along. Also, another thing on top of that, I literally went to the wrong location. I was scheduled for a location here in Manhattan, but I misread it and ended up in Brooklyn for some reason. And it was really good that I caught on earlier because I would have been there all day and missed my casting. But I decided to check my schedule again and I saw that it was a location here in Manhattan and yeah I literally have to keep this mask on all day but I'm trying to make it a little bit fashionable you know just a little bit fashionable but
for sticking it out this far y'all the real girlies for real also thank you thank you thank you for all the support on my instagram and my youtube i love you guys so 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 much Mwah.